Hello, welcome to The Big Seed Sow, part of the RHS Grow With It campaign. Uh, you should have received your five packets of seeds in the post, and today we're going to be showing you how to sow the seeds. So the first method we're going to show you is how to sow the seeds directly into the soil where you want the plants to end up. Once the threat of frost is gone, you can use this method with any of these five packs of seeds, but it's particularly good for Californian poppies because these plants don't like to be moved. They don't like to be transplanted from one place to another. To start with, you need to prepare the soil. The soil should be fine if possible. So you need to remove any large objects like stones or twigs and also weed out any weeds. So now we've prepared the bed, we're ready to sow the seeds. And we're going to be sowing flowers, so we want, them to, we want it to look fairly natural. So what I'm going to do is create a little, a mini trench, which we call a drill. And rather than doing a straight line, which you might do for vegetables, I'm doing a little curvy line. And uh, once we've created the line, we need to water the soil in. Once the water is soaked in, we're ready to sow the seeds. So for smaller seeds, I like to put some in the palm of one hand and then I can use the other hand to very sparsely sprinkle them along the line that we've, that we've created. So it's worth checking the seed packet which will tell you how deep the seeds need to be planted. Uh, I know that these poppies, they only need a very light covering, less than a centimetre, so I'm just going to use a trowel and uh, cover up the seeds um, cover up the trench just from either side, just lightly cover them. Once you've covered them, you can give it another light water in and they're ready to go. So finally, it's good to write a label with the name of the plant on to mark the spot where you've sown the seeds. I always like to write the date on there so I know when to expect the plants to grow. So all of the seeds that you've been sent, except for the poppy, which doesn't like to be moved, can be sown indoors. We're in a greenhouse today but you could sow them on your windowsill um, at home and that will give you a head start on the growing. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to sow the seeds into a tray indoors. Um, we're going to be using a peat-free compost. Any peat-free multipurpose compost will be fine. Now the first thing to do is to make sure there's no lumps in the compost. And once you've done that, you need to fill the tray now I've checked on the seed packet and these seeds need to be need to be sown about half a centimetre deep so I'm not going to fill the tray completely to the top. And a little tamper down, we don't want to press the compost and compress it too much, we just want it to be nicely settled and then that's pretty much ready for sowing. So I've put a, just enough seeds to cover the uh, tray in the palm of one of my hands and I'm going to use the other hand just to pinch uh, to pinch out a seed or two so so we can evenly cover the cover the uh, the tray with seeds so they've all got enough room to grow and uh, it's like sprinkling pepper I suppose salt or pepper and then we need to cover them with roughly half a centimeter so I'm just going to sprinkle it by hand you could use a sieve and sprinkle from a sieve but this this compost is quite fine anyway so the final thing to do is to water the tray. Um, you, we can do that either with a watering can with a fine rose, as we did outside, um, so you don't wash away the seeds. Or easier is uh, just have a tray of water, and if you leave, leave the tray in there, it will soak up through, through the holes in the bottom and, and moisten the, the whole tray. As before, don't forget to put a label in with what the plant is and uh, today's date as well. So when the seeds germinate, um, you will hopefully have something that looks a little bit like this. And uh, so the seedlings have been in for a few weeks. And now the next stage is you can take out the seedlings and you can either plant them straight out in your bed where, they, where they're going to grow, or you can take them from here and put them in a slightly larger pot. How would you do that without disturbing the seedlings, upsetting them too much? You use a pencil or a dibber, which is the same sort of thing, and you're going to gently ease from underneath and try and get the seedling out and then you will hold it by the leaves, not the stem. If you crush the stem, it's really it's going to finish the seedling off and then holding it by the leaves, hopefully you've got some good roots, pop it into a pot or, or like I say, plant outside. For more details, please check the website 
there's still time to sign up for the for Grow With It and um, good luck with the big seed sow. <laughs>